Philippians chapter 2, verse 12, and it reads, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's for people here for a bit. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. If the Lord put the Spirit on you, if Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus, put the Spirit on you to repent, to turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful, repentive spirit, to take heed to this blessed word, to rehearse the righteous acts of the Bible to the best of your ability, to take heed to this blessed warning. Don't worry about nobody else. Work out your own salvation. Everybody's ignoring the word. You're, you're the only one in the house that wants to watch the video. You can't stop trying to make people watch them videos. All right. J -j just stop it. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because when it pop off, they're going to know that a prophet had been among them. They're going to know just, just like in the time of Noah. Right now, they're just eating and drinking and having fun and uh, getting ready for the um, holiday festivities and all this other nonsense, getting ready for New Year's, spending all their money on brand new outfits and hats and shoes and clothes and jackets and all that. Let us work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Look, salvation is on the line. You see, our lives are basically on the line, all right? And we're constantly praying to Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for mercy, all right? Let's get it again. Philippians chapter two, verse 12. So while the Lord got the spirit on us to watch these videos, to take down notes, to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability, has given us the gift of faith to believe. Let us keep pushing. Let us keep striving. Let us keep working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Look, the family members that get destroyed on this side, look, they'll, they'll be back. All right. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. A tornado came through here yesterday. Trees knocked down, houses crushed, houses lifted off the ground. See, but before all that, you know what I'm saying? Before, before the storm, it was calm. It was cool. It was collective. Nobody won't listen. Everybody would just part. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get that scripture too. Let's get this right quick. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, the house of David... The hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, we part of that hopeful number. As ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, because you don't want to be a hypocrite. When the Lord is around, I'm saying you're acting like you got some sense. But when the Lord ain't around, which he's always around, you're on your BS, right? The Lord said, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. We got to be constantly examining ourselves now. Before the Lord come back, man, but, but look, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You see the whole family's playing around, friends of the world, so-called friends of the world, they're playing around, ain't nobody taking heed. Nah, nah, let us take heed, work out your own salvation. Take heed, rehearse the righteous acts to the, of the Bible to the best of your ability. Fear, fear first and foremost, fear the God of the Bible. Do that which is right, because look, that the fire coming. Remember, the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. That fire, that fire rises, man. All right? I keep quoting this. Let's, let's get this right quick. Let's get, um, let's get St. Luke right quick, the 17th chapter. Why everybody else is playing around and look, and the Lord sped, sped up time. Look, we're living in the worst time ever known to mankind. The Lord said tribulation. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get that too. You hear these words? We hear these words. You're supposed to tremble at the words of the Lord. Not open your damn mouth with, with your own opinion and how you feel and what you think the scripture says and the scripture means this and the scripture means that. The Lord said what he said. St. Luke chapter 17. St. Luke chapter 17. But you have it your way, though, as, as it, verse 26, and as it was in the days of Noe, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, 
they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. What was Noah? Everybody else was having fun, drinking, celebrating, committing abominable acts. But what was Noah doing? He was working out his own salvation with fear and tremor. You see, while everybody else was BSing around, caught up in the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the news now. So somebody got banged. You see, one person hurt after somebody got banged in Chapel Hill. And it's still out the four corners of the earth. The Lord sent it for judgment. But once again, while everybody else is playing around, Noah was working out his own salvation with fear and trembling. You know what I'm saying? And then people was catching hell back then. The Lord was deleting people back then. But, he, but the ultimate deletion came when that flood came. The same thing is happening right about now. And the ultimate deletion, you know what I'm saying, is when that fire comes this time, because that fire going to rise. That fire is going to rise. What it say? They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all and destroyed them all. You you got you to fathom that. You got to picture that, man. Billions of people being consumed by way of water, you know what I'm saying? And then being ate by sea creatures. Because cause what? Because they didn't work out their own salvation with fear. They won't, won't no fear. Won't no fear. And, see, and the thing about it, these are the same people that's on the earth. Them spirits back then, they're on the earth right now doing the same thing. And they look, and they're more wicked now than ever. They're more rebellious now than ever. Likewise, also as it was in the days of life, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. Are we not seeing the same attitude, the same conduct going on now? As as all these, the Lord got all these prophets throughout the four corners of the warning people each and every day, warning these Israelites, these Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, so called, right? But the only thing they think about is them voting, them shopping, and eating, and drinking, and shitting, and talking shit. That's the only thing they're talking about, right? Look, but nothing, you see? But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The Lord ain't never been played. You see? The Lord said, look, look, um, he's, he's not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. Because a man can tell you something, but that don't mean he going to do it. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. They say they're going to do something. You know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. Even thus shall it be when the Son of Man is revealed. And it, when the day of the Lord comes, his second return is going to be the same thing. People are going to be eating and drinking and mocking and scoffing. But the end all be it all, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you. That, that's all That's all it is, man. You're going to know that a prophet had been among you, right? Just like in the time of Noah. Let's, let's see what else. Because they ain't going to be able to make this too long. That fire going to rise. ICBM missiles are going to hit this place eventually. All hell is going to hit this place eventually. Martial law is going to pop off. Cannibalism. And, and yeah, lag, go on, get your laugh on. Get your scarf on. Put your stupid comments on the board. And watch what happened to you. And watch what happened to you. At least you repent. Second Peter chapter 3. Verse 9 and it reads, The Lord Yahweh through its only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and we know you people tired of those proper names in the Hebrew tongue. Well, well, well oh, well, turn the channel. Turn the channel, all right? Every, everybody on the face of the earth, everything's going to bow down to the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Real soon, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, word, to the Hebrew Israelites. Not willing that any should perish, meaning died, but that all should come to repentance. But we know on this side, only the elect is going to turn back and repent. And the word repent means to turn back sorrowful, regretful, remorseful for all our wrongful thoughts, sins and doings on this side in this life and our former lives. Right? We feel bad, man. We feel bad for going off. You see, you're supposed to be anyway. You're supposed to feel bad, you're supposed to feel remorseful, regretful. For going to hell off, for worshiping other gods, for eating abominable foods, for practicing the customs of the heathens, that, that will ultimately get you destroyed, man. All right? We feel bad for all the nonsense that we did, man. All right? The Lord said, no, I'm saying, look, the Israelites, they don't repent. You're going to perish, though. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Why do you think we watching? And then the Lord had to put his spirit on you to watch. 
But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And what does a thief do? He watches you from weeks and months and years. Then finally, wham, bam, no thank you, ma'am, right? It says, um, in the which the heavens, meaning this rulership, right? Which the heavens shall pass away, you know what I'm saying, with a great noise. When the missiles hit and the elements, everything is made out of elements, the people, the cars, the trees, the water, everything. Everything is made out of elements. And the Lord said, look, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It just shit, shit. It's, um, the scientists um, pretty much said that the missiles um, pretty much reach the temperatures of the interior of the sun. And you know it's going to be hotter than that because um, the Lord said his spirit is going to be in those missiles. Bear with me. That's, 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 that's a scary thing about it. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, said his spirit is going to be inside those missiles, man. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. Once again, the scientists said the temperature, you know what I'm saying, of those missiles, the missiles get as hot as the interiors of the sun. You want to feel that? All you Israelites that's out there running your damn mouth, re rebellious, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, you, you're going to end up in that fire. Least you repent, turn back. But the Lord has to put his spirit on you to turn back. And that's a scary thing. That's a scary it's a that's why why you think the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's why the Lord had me bring out that first scripture. Work out your own self, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Lord willing, we make it. You see? Because we don't even know, man. We don't know if we're gonna make it. It's it's scary. reading the scripture right here makes me nervous anyway. Reading the scripture makes me nervous, all right? Yeah, yeah, yes, it does. I'm scared of the Lord. I'm terrified. All right. The king of terrors, you right. A, a power that created me, a power, no sin, that, that created my spirit. You see, my spirit is part of his spirit. You see, his spirit, not no damn woman. All right. The Lord is a man of war. And all you Israelites is out there, you, you Israelites bug the hell up. Tell me some of the, the, um, the B dub is God. Are you serious? Let's, let's, let's keep reading on, man. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Now, you, you read this scripture right here, but then you want to wild out. You want to break down the scriptures the wrong way. You want to be rebellious. You want to still celebrate the cousins of the heathens. Either reading a scripture like this, either hearing a scripture like this was written in the Bible. We know this was written in the Bible years ago. It was all the pastors. It was all about love, and mom is all about love, and got grandma telling them God is good all the time. This ain't what I'm reading. I'm reading about things being melted to 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 to, to a crispy. You see, things being melted to a crispy, man. Actually, dark crispy, black black darkness. That's all I'm reading right now, man. And the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. It took 500 years to build this place up, to build Babylon the Great up, a.k.a. America up. But it's only going to take one hour. This is what we're talking about. One hour, man. The Lord going to plague this place with more locusts, more frogs and bed bugs and there's shit it's already been riddled with crime and chaos already and mayhem seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness hearing this scripture right here how shall we be conducting ourselves on an everyday basis and the lord said don't just do it when people are around don't just do it don't just pl act play the role be the role all right don't just act no same when brothers are around. Shalom, shalom, act like you on you on point with the Lord to the best of your ability. No, man. Even when brothers ain't around, what are you doing? What are we doing throughout the week? Are we rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability? Our ability? Are we praying for more faith? Are we praying for more strength? Are we praying for more guidance? You see, things of that nature, spiritual gifts, not a big booty b i t c h. You see. If the Lord want that to come, that's gonna come. Are you are you praying for more um more mercy throughout the week? The Lord says, seeing all these things should be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the most high, wherein the heavens, meaning these uh, sleazy east rulership, along with these other heathens, is ruling. Because when sleazy goes down, they go down. So look, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, the hopeful elect, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. You see that? Wherefore, my beloved, seeing that you look for such things, because we're the only one that's looking for this day to come. Be diligent. You see, we got to be diligent. Make your calling and election sure, right? Be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless because the Lord is coming angry. 
The Lord is coming angry, man. What, what, what is that? Is that um? I know it's one in Joel. Let's just get this right quick. Work out your own salvation. Just something quick too through the spirit of Yahweh. But Shema Shai, Lord, one of the elect, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel is edified. I want, I want to get this right quick though, because I got, I got to get ready to roll out. Go make this daily bread, Lord's willing. May Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, protect the hopeful elects throughout the day. It's been a whole lot of deletions happening too, man. Throughout this week, man, a whole lot of deletions been happening, man. Joel chapter one. That don't scare nobody, though, man. But it will, though. Joel chapter 1, verse 15, it reads, Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is at hand. Can't you see it? All the tall tale signs. The writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall. Corruption at an all-time high. Lawlessness, rebelliousness. Look at the state of the women. Look at the state of the men. You don't even want to keep it. Look at the state of the damn women. You see? Did you, you women glorify being H to the damn Izzos, damn near all of them. You see, just look at the state of the earth. You, you know, it can't last too much longer. You know, that's what, that's why when it come, it's going to really come when it pop off. It's going to really pop the hell off, man. You see, and as a destruction from the almighty shall it come. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. It's going to come. The day of the Lord is going to come as a destruction. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. And he got away from the bear, leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. This is what the day. It's going to be worse than that, man. We just read the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Let's see what else. Cause I got to get, I got to get rid of roll. Got to get rid of roll. Let's get this right quick. Joel, what is it? Um, now, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. Yeah. Habakkuk chapter 2. Remember, the Lord had the science to create the waste to destroy, right? Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. And it reads, for the vision, meaning the prophecies, is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And the first thing is, like, when we bring out scriptures, no saying tell our people what's going to happen before it even happens. Well, you said that last year. You said that the year before that. You said that a couple of months ago. The vision is yet for an appointed time. We tell you what's going to happen before it even happens, but we can't give you the date. We can't give you the hour. We can't give you the month. And we sure enough can't give you the year. We just tell you, our job is to tell you what's going to happen before it even happens, all right? Do you get that yet? All right? Do you do you get that yet? You don't you still don't get that yet? The, the word prophesy means to say before we tell you what's gonna happen before it even happened, man. Get get AK giving you warning, man. Are you taking heed to the warning instead of running your damn mouth every time, man? Well, you said, brother, you said it was gonna happen last year, brother. We didn't tell you when it was gonna happen. We told you that it was gonna happen, all right? But all the markers and the scholars, you're going, the Lord says stripes for the back of fools, all right? Stripes for the back of fools. You blockheads, you meatballs, you jackasses. The Lord got something for you. Don't worry about it. And it's called judgment, man. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, and it reads, For the vision, meaning the prophecy, is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And right now, the prophecies are screaming off the page. Remember, the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of evils, the beginning of wars. And not lie, though it Terry, though it seemed like it's taking a long time for these prophecies to kick in the high gear, wait for it. And while you wait, you work, we work out our own salvation. Yeah, we. We work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Don't get caught up in the hype. You see all these people committing wicked acts. Don't don't be nothing that says envy not the sinner. You don't want to be nothing like these wicked people because judgment, it says marvel. The scriptures say marvel at a sinner if they go um unpunished. Because the Lord, you know what I'm saying, that's Sirach, um, the 16th chapter, I'm thinking. And not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. I, I might as well get that. Since the Lord had me think of it, I might as well get it. What is Sirach, um, is it Sirach 16? Let's see. Because I got to get ready to roll. It's almost over, Israel. The scripture say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. It's Sirach 16 and 11. Yep, Sirach chapter 16. You see it, also known as Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha, which is canon. You got guys talking about some, um, the Bible is not the words of the Lord, but the words of the Lord are contained in the Bible. 
And you got Israelites still listening to him. You got you got guys, you know what I'm saying? The cops come up, you know what I'm saying? When the scripture say um the Saint Matthew, I think it's the on um, the fifth chapter, it says, Agree with thine adversary. So if the cops do come up and you and we're out there teaching, and the police come up and they say, Look, look y'all gotta move, go somewhere else and teach. Get guess what? We gotta go somewhere else and teach. What part of that don't you get? What part of the scriptures you Israelites are not getting what the scriptures are saying? You see? Just outside looking bug the hell out, man. The, the, the authorities come up. Yeah, the authorities, because we're not the authorities right about now. The authorities, the federalities, look, look, they come up and say you got to move. You got to move, all right? We got to move. Find another place to teach. Let's get this, though, man. Uh, so Rock chapter 16, verse 11. If there be one stiff neck among the people, hard-headed, can't tell them nothing, can't tell her nothing. It is marvel if he or she escape unpunished. Be, be surprised, be at awe if that person escapes unpunished, right? For mercy and wrath are with him. Remember, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For mercy and wrath, that's balance right there. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. You see, as his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judges a man and a woman according to his works. You see that? The fire rises. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The warning has went out. No more excuses, no more Israel. No more excuses. Let us all do what is right. Let us all do what is honest to the best of our ability and continue to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Shalom.